Okay, this is Greek oregano. Um, it's sweeter than regular oregano, and this is how I harvest it. I take my kitchen shears, and I wait until some of the branches have gotten quite long. I just recently rotated this because the longer ones were on the sun side, so I can now let the ones that were in the shade get more sun. So I'm going to take some that are very long and trim them as close to the base as the plant, of the plant as possible. My, this one's got a long stem. Here's one. Here's one. That's good. Yeah, the rest aren't that long. Oh, this one's actually got a lot on it, though. It's like got two rows of oregano. And you can see where the stems are. They don't grow leaves near the base of the plant, which is very helpful. So I take my shears and my cut oregano. And as you can see here, I got my oregano. Uh, flat parsley, curly parsley. This is basil. I have it in with my rosemary. There are some chives. Um, these are scallions, or the other way around. I'm not sure. These are the little ones, and, th and those are the big, like green, green onions that you get in the store. This here is mint, and these are more scallions that aren't really doing that well. And the tick, I just trimmed into the kitchen. And the first thing I do is I rinse them thoroughly. Make sure there's no dirt on them. And because they're fresh, none of the leaves will fall off. Unless they're dead, which is which is okay. Dead leaves can fall off. So, uh, Greek oregano is uh, soft. It's the leaves are a little bit fuzzy. So to catch things that float around in the air. There. Shake it dry as best I can. And then I go to the base and I find the leaves that, can you see this? That look like this, they're brown. I just pull them off and throw them in the sink for now. Because when it dries, it's harder to tell what leaves aren't good. But all these leaves seem to be fine. And then I bunch up the bottom like this, and then I just take a piece of string, like a thread, sewing thread, and I wrap it around the stems a few times. I tie it in a knot. another knot in it so it's nice and tight. There, now I've got my Greek oregano all hanging and I'll take the end of the thread and I will make a loop, a big loop knot, and then what I have set up in my kitchen is, you can see it, up here I have a clothesline and I even have a clip that says oregano on it, so if I'm drawing more than one thing, I know which is which. I just clip it to my clothesline. And I'll let that drip dry, and then as soon as it's dry, you just take, take the whole bunch uh, down by the stems, and then I'll put a plate down on the counter, and you can just start by like you just grab it and, and you, if you just do this to the oregano all the oregano will fall off the stem and then putting it on a white plate is good because then you can see if any stems have fallen in or if there's any bunches of leaves that you want to break apart and then once you're done with that um, I've got a whole jar full of it jar full of oregano for my plant 
and I put it in this shaker jar that some other seasoning came in that I like because it's glass. It's getting compacted to the bottom because I had so much Greek oregano at some one point I couldn't fit it in. So I took a chopstick and and uh, p pounded it down like a uh, like with a wooden mallet type pounding and put it in there and it's all done. And the only reason why I say that you should take the oregano down as soon as it's dry is because I found that if I hang it and I forget about it that it gets things from the air caught in it. It will get little bits of lint caught in it. It will get cat hair caught in it. Dog, if I had a dog, probably dog hair. And then you gotta take the oregano and you gotta really carefully clean it when it's dry. And then you gotta lay it out on a paper towel to dry. And that's it. That's Greek oregano. It's very, very easy. Excuse me. It's very easy to grow. Um, it likes being in a pot by itself and it's very tasty on pizzas and bread. Uh, with a little olive oil. It's, it's, it's a nice thing to have around the house. Thank you for watching.